my life to a man that I've never met. I was first diagnosed with ovarian cancer on the 27th of March 2002. Chemotherapy was my only option uh, medically at that stage. When I was going through the chemotherapy, although I know that it wasn't completely working, it was keeping me alive. In 2009, when I started the trial, it was very, very frightening to be going on to something different, but then that was my only my only choice, my only hope really of, of anything. So I just did it and took the drugs and went and had all my checkups and miraculously they started to work. I think we were told that it was somebody in Cambridge who made it. My name is Professor Steve Jackson. I'm a group leader at the Gurdon Institute, which is part of the University of Cambridge. In the early 1990s, my research had stumbled across some proteins in our cells that repair the most toxic form of DNA damage called the double strand break. And we wanted to figure out how those proteins worked. And so that's why I applied for a grant from Worldwide Cancer Research. If Worldwide Cancer Research wasn't there, it's difficult to, to know how things would have gone. And I did know about the reputation of the charity in funding blue sky research, if you like, basic research that had the potential to make a big difference. Between 1999 and 2002, uh, we carried out a number of drug discovery programs, one of which gave rise to the compound that we now call Alaparib. Taking that into clinical trials is a big step. They are experiments. They're experiments in patients. We don't know if they're going to work. But there are obviously patients out there that have no other options available to them. And when they join these trials, they know there's no guarantee of success. The striking thing was, was within not that many months of those clinical trials initiating, certain patients were responding, some in very, very pronounced and astounding ways. I hope that Steve Jackson's as excited to meet me as I am to meet him. I don't know what I'd say to him or what I'd ask him. Steve Jackson has saved my life. I don't tend to think of myself as a lifesaver, although if I step back for a moment and think about what my research has led to, um, I guess that I am. Being a basic uh, cancer scientist, I don't work in the clinical arena, so I haven't over the years come into contact with patients who benefited from the drugs that my research has underpinned. But it would be a wonderful moment, it would be a wonderful experience. I am just the most lucky person in the world at the moment, and I can do anything I like. And I've been to New Zealand, and I've seen my family, and we travel, and we do everything that we want to do and we're very, very fortunate to do so. Um, to me, it's just it's an amazing thing to do, to meet the man that is actually giving me my life back. Oh, thank you so much for what you've done. You're amazing. <laughs>